Hello and welcome to the Nikivo Backup and Replication tutorial video series on the site recovery functionality. By watching these videos, you can learn how to set up, test, and run site recovery workflows. For a general overview of the site recovery functionality introduced in Nikivo Backup and Replication, refer to the first video in the series. In this video, we show you how to set up VM replication. You need to have VM replication jobs set up if you want to use automated VM failover for site recovery. First of all, you need to define the scope of your replication and the recovery point objective, which is the amount of data you can afford to lose measured in time. Not all VMs run business critical applications. Therefore, you might want to exclude some of the less important ones from the replication scope or assign longer recovery point objectives to them. For example, the VMs housing your CRM or financial systems should probably have shorter RPOs than a VM housing human resources data. Important VMs should be replicated on an hourly basis or even more often, while the rest can be replicated once a day or simply backed up. Make sure your virtualized environment is set up and ready at both the production site and the DR site. After that, you can proceed to creating and running a replication job. Creating a replication job in Nikivo Backup and Replication is a quick and intuitive process. First, you need to launch the replication job wizard and choose the VMs to be replicated. Nikivo Backup and Replication lets you select an entire container to automatically replicate all the VMs inside it. Then you need to choose the destination. This is where your VM replicas should be created and powered on during failover. You can choose to replicate all VM disks or select specific ones. To save time and effort, you can also enable network mapping and re-IP rules. Network mapping helps connect VM replicas to the right network, and re-IP assigns appropriate IP addresses to them. To enable network mapping, specify the source and target networks to be used or choose a rule that has already been created. Similarly, to enable re-IP, Specify the old and new IP addresses or choose from among your previously created rules. Next, you need to specify the schedule of replication. VMs containing business critical information should be replicated as frequently as possible to avoid data loss. Make sure your replication interval doesn't exceed the RPO for the VM in question. With Nikivo Backup and Replication, you can schedule replication jobs to run every minute. You can also verify your schedule using the built in calendar. At the final step, you can choose your retention policy and configure all the other options for the replication job, including network acceleration, encryption, screenshot verification, and bandwidth throttling. You can also have the product send job reports to your email. Please note that you must have entered your email address in the Configuration tab beforehand for this option to be available. When you're done, hit Finish and Run. You can check the current state of your job in the Activities tab and read the full report after the job finishes running. This concludes the tutorial on setting up VM replication. In the next video, we're going to show you how to create recovery workflow using Site Recovery. Download the full-featured free trial and try the solution in your own environment.